This is a one-legged fold. I really love this stretch because not only are you stretching the underside of your extended leg, but you're opening the inner hip as well, and you're getting a really nice low back stretch. So to get into this pose, we want to pull our externally rotated leg up to wherever makes sense for your body. So that might be inside the knee, it might be in the inner thigh. If the knee of your externally rotated leg will allow, it might be all the way up towards the inner thigh. We want to make sure to rotate that leg from the inner thigh, away from the midline. So letting the knee turn out and then finding the placement of your foot. Now, um, if you have tight inner thighs, your externally rotated leg will probably be a little higher and it's hard to relax it there, it's hard to get a stretch there. So if that's you, grab a block or a pillow and rest it under the externally rotated leg so that you can let the inner thigh start to open. The next thing we want to do getting in this pose is to turn both hip points to point at your extended leg. You'll feel both sit bones root down, and just like all of our forward folds, we'll initiate this movement from the pelvis. So instead of reaching forward with the hands and rounding over through the torso, we're going to flare the sit bones wide and let the pubic bone pull down. The low back will stay relatively straight as we go forward over, like squaring the torso, bringing it to the center of the leg over the leg. Now, if this is really tough for you to fold forward and it's very humbling, you might take a little bend into your uh, leg that's on the ground. Then, once you settle into the pose, re-push the sit bones down and flare the sit bones high, and then soften the upper body, kind of like a child's pose, over the shin. 